This is Gareth Steenson's testimonial match. Let's do this. Right guys, super exciting day today. We're going to see Gareth Steenston's testimonial match and I've been very lucky to be allowed to vlog from there. So I'm gonna take you with me and uh, hopefully we'll get some decent footage. Oscar, do you like Gareth Steenston? Mm. We've arrived at the ground and we're gonna go in now. It's not too bad weather-wise. Got the old jacket on just in case it gets a bit too chilly. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can get you. Right, let's go down pitch side and see what's happening. Classic lions. We're going to try and get me a badge. Awesome. So where do, where can I get them? I'll show you. Oh. Okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blimey. Warm up, warm up, just because it's cold on that outside. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, this is Alistair. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Doing a bit of vidging for us, a bit yeah. like Barry, but um, Alistair does vlogging. Yeah, okay, do you want to go down and do something? Yeah, cool. Go and knock yourself out. You just awesome. go down and do your little pieces. Thank you very much. This is where the Chiefs sign the shirts that will probably be, I guess, auctioned or maybe given away as prizes. So, yeah. Exclusive. I tell you what, this is quite unbelievable. They've got me backroom access right in the tunnel. I'm gonna take you into the changing room now. It's um, this is where it all happens, and you don't get to see this stuff very regularly. Scary sight, Bentos. So this is where it all happens, where the chiefs get ready. Uh, no lewd shots today. So we are going to be looking at this team, which pretty much came up from the Championship to the Premiership back in 2010. This is the view they see, guys. Barry Frost, who's the uh, official Chiefs TV videographer and thoroughly nice guy, I have to say. He's helping me out today, letting me get around places with my pass. And yeah, it's just been amazing. Him and Phil Mingo, such nice guys. It's good. I like that. Strapping. What, this thing? No, the uh, yeah. photographer, videographer, love here. Gareth, hey, mate. the main man, how you doing? I'm all right, you yeah, all right? you're right, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. Can we have a prediction? Oh, I don't know, <laughs> 70. 65. Really? That Chief. close? Wow. Yeah. Nice. Good man, good man. Guys are uploading already. Absolutely, yeah. Got a nice load up already of the fans and things like that. Lovely. So it's all, it's all good stuff. Hard work this business, isn't it? No, it's good fun. <laughs> But today we're here to celebrate an absolute hero of the Exeter Chiefs, Mr. Gareth Steenson. So though he's not here, I'd like a massive cheer for Steena for all he's done for this club on three. One, two, three. <laughs> and while we're in the mood to cheer, I'd like to introduce the star of, of, of our very quick cabaret, who's hopefully somewhere in this room, Mr. Jack Knoll. Is Jack around? Where's Jack? Hey, he's getting a roast. Jack, uh, I understand Mara Otoji, George Cruz, Alan Wayne Jones. How does it feel now to be in the company of possibly the greatest second row of all time, Chris Bennett? <laughs> Fantastic. And looking at the teams, there's obviously uh, some superstars in the lineups. For the classic Lions, Mike Tindall, David Flatman, Danny Brucott, Lee Beers. Three of them are Lions. Flatman's just a big fat man, but nonetheless. Looking <laughs> forward to uh, seeing Tony Rowe out there on the field as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe the rumours are true. The Exeter will feel the heaviest front row in the history of the club <laughs> when Tony Rowe, Kieran Northcott, and Nick Beaton are on the field. Uh, <laughs> Can I have a programme, please? There we are, sir. Thank Enjoy. you very much. The winner is going to be rugby. Absolutely. Be and, um, Agreed. 
So the spirit of rugby is uh, within this club and uh, I think that's what's made it the best club in the land. Amazing, amazing. That guy just came up and said how much he loved my videos. What a legend, love it. And I heard yesterday from uh, Brian Rennie's wife Stacy as well that she, he's been watching these videos out in Hong Kong, which is uh, always nice to know. We've got a global reach now, guys, global. We're going big. This is the person that's made it happen. <laughs> All happen. Yeah. <laughs> this is Viv, she's the best. Let's go up to see the boxes. This is where the high flyers come. So this is Tony Rowe's box. Only Tony Rowe and VIP guests come in here normally. So this is very, very special access. This is the view that Tony gets, guys. You wouldn't get in here normally. I wonder if one day I'll be allowed up there this is the actual Chiefs Tunnel, being given full access and the players will be coming out of here very soon. The rumours are true, I can see it with my own eyes, Tony Rowe and Kieran Northcott in white. <laughs> Most capped chief man. Nice manly smell of deep heat here. Game face. Don't want to give away their tactics, so we've been quiet. <laughs> Physio room for when things don't go so well. Modern legend and less than modern legend. I'm kind of having to pinch myself here. I'm really not sure this is actually happening. It's amazing. First Chiefs, well, not unofficial Chiefs game vlogged, I think, from the ground, from pitch side. Right, they're going to do a toss now. Going out to the centre circle now. See, amazing. Going to be touring. Logging this. Tails never fails.
try a Lions. I think they're getting a bit serious. They're going warming up. Flats, flattened. Let's give you a good idea of how good this access is. This is where I'm sitting. And this is where the Chiefs teams are sitting. Same place. Oh no, they're warming up now, it's fine. And the legend budget. Sending Jack on now. Hopefully if this is any good, they might actually use me for, uh, for official games. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lovely. Time for some food, not very FODMAP friendly though. Half time score, 36 Chiefs, 17 classic lines. One of the things that you don't see very often actually with the Chiefs is the amount of press stuff that they have to do. So they're always doing selfies and pictures and um, signatures and stuff like that. And Jack Knowles just done another one over here a minute ago. And yeah, they're really, they're just so good. Jacobs especially, because he's obviously got a, the interest in the Lions and England and everything like that. But they're all good at it. And it's just a side you don't really see if you're coming to games every week. Um, I was out at the dinner last night and everyone was coming up to the guys. And yeah, it was quite, it's quite hard work, I think, for them. But you don't really understand that that's the case. You just think of them as players and don't really think about all the other stuff that they have to go through. And they have to be very careful, obviously, of what they do, what they do on social media, all that kind of stuff stuff as well so fair play to them fair play we're in at half time all the players now just having a few drinks um, i think they're still water actually so good on them it's henry slade this is the two that made it happen I've never sat on these before so. comfortable actually so this is where the subs sit and during the game, apparently they're heated. Jack doing his bit for the kids, so nice to see. Our second half about to start, about to kick off. Derek the Otter. Quick huddle. Gareth's brother, Johnny Steenston, coming on. I don't think Gareth knew that, I'm not sure. Whatever though, it's still a nice touch. And here's Rob Baxter, he is here. Right, let's see if I can set, get TJ on camera now. Hashtag TJPT. You Hello, need mate. to be working out a bit more, mate. It's 55.46 and we've got 27 minutes on the clock. Just to prove this is actually a proper game, people are actually getting injured. This is what part of being a true sportsman is all about. 
it's not just about playing, it's about giving something back and these guys do it better than most. Professionals at work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're all looking surprisingly fit still, which is quite amazing. They've done well for old men. I'm going to say that in this company, I can't do that, I'll be getting trouble. chance to be on the pitch so I should probably take the most of this and I'll try and get a shot off the grandstand. Wow what a day, let's go and see if uh, I can get into the old gold car bar quickly. Michael Dart there. Oh, most of the games. Hey, cheese. So that was Gareth Steenson's testimonial match. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes footage, um, backstage pass. Loved it. Awesome. And hopefully this won't be the last opportunity I get to do this. So yeah, I'll see you next time.